All right, guys. <laughs> it's hot as balls out. But we are going to go try and find them as usual. Cool fish you don't see every day. This is a quillback carp sucker. Very neat fish. A little big for me. And a little too crazy. <clears throat> Pretty wild dynamic right here. Got some real cloudy water mixing with some clear water from creek. This is big fish kind of weather though. Let's get some baits out. And it feels like a deep summer night, but it's it's only May. Well, I didn't get it on camera, but I just lost a huge fish to this. Nobody to blame but myself. Easily could have been a massive fish. I mean, oh my God, that burns. I'll finish. It ain't as big as that first one, but not even close. A nice fish. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that one, but that rod literally almost got ripped out of its holder. Just pulled this one out. probably like a 20 pounder or so I want to get rods back in the water because that fish that hit that one was definitely bigger Feels like he's pulling pretty good. Go to the right, keep him out of the motor. And that's a channel cat. You're just reeling him in.
Oh, snug. <laughs> you see him take it down? I thought something was going on with that rod. Come a little bit there. Another eater. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. That looks like the best one of the day, though. There you go, boss. I can't oh, I tell. I can feel him in something too. Damn. Come on. He's in a snag. Oh man. Looks like you're getting some line. You really gotta haul him in here. He's gonna go up on the bank. He's got some weight. Good. Better than nothing. Oh, yeah, nice one, nice one. That's a forty. I totally thought that was gonna be a, a snag. I know, dude, it was in one for sure. We might wanna do that. Don't worry about the video, let's get that cut out. A 48 inch fish. Yep. Okay. Give me this thing. Did you get a new one or is that still broke? No, this, this one built that 76, uh, tore a hole in this thing. I saw, I was like, damn, that thing, did it rip the, did it poke, poke a hole or did it, oh. It, it's like right here, it's not I bad, see. it'll still work. That was probably its fin. Yeah. Nice. Forty-five that is, pound. That's a good-looking fish. All right, let's put him back. All right. Well, we had a good night tonight. <laughs> Things got interesting getting back to the boat ramp. I've seen some crazy stuff at some of these boat ramps, like I've indicated before in some of my videos, but tonight might take the cake. When this river goes down, it just kicks the uh, boat ramp with mud, like a foot of mud is sitting at the base of this ramp. So it's probably not gonna be usable for a while. And this guy was pulling it out with a sedan, one of his boats, and luckily this thing was lightweight. But <laughs> he pulled this thing out and I helped him push his car up the thing up the ramp and then it looked like he was going and then his boat his trailer just torqued and just the boat the entire boat just fell off and uh luckily it was a flimsy little thing and we were able to get it back on there <laughs> but it was it was just something else but that's the kind of stuff you gotta be aware of and 
definitely motivates even though i had no problem getting it out it may, motivates me to want to get some more badass tires so but yeah we got a good one and i don't think i showed it in the video but before that we caught that one we had a huge fish start ripping drag on one of my reels but we missed him he just kind of let go of the bait it's happened to me twice now i lost another big one earlier in the week but that's that's the game we play so all you can do is get back out there so anyways thanks for watching and uh stay tuned as always